Hello everyone, this is Blank, and we are doing something a little bit different today. Today we are going to be messing around with note blocks. Um, obviously, I've, I'm sure you've seen tutorials on note blocks on YouTube, but I figured, hey, let's make my own, I guess. I don't know. But uh, I, I started watching someone do some note blocks. It was Tango Tech, and I was like, hey, I kind of want to do a video of myself just creating some note blocks. So for this one, what's behind me, I basically have what is the start of what you can do. So basically, each wood type creates a bass sound. So obviously, it doesn't matter which kind of wood you use. But I figured, since I'm doing it anyways, uh, might as well just show you that you can use any type, and it will all produce a different sound. So if I do that. So it makes a little bit of a rhythm. And obviously, if you go into F3 mode, you can see basically on the right hand side, you have your note. So this one I'm looking at is 17. This one here is 14, 10, 7, 4, 2, and it goes all the way up to 24. And there's a, and it goes all the way down to 0. So, and then there's the one over here, which is floating in midair. This one, well actually let's turn this off real quick. There we go. So that has a bass sound, but this one, it's just a note. When it's floating in midair, it has a little bit different sound. So obviously, just a different way of looking at it. So if you want to do something like that, then that is something to try as well. It just gives you another another note to play around with. Now, obviously, this is only the first of, I think, let me double check. So yeah, this is the first of 15 different notes you can create, minus the floating one. So 16 different notes you can create within Minecraft. So obviously, you have your base as your standard one, or or should I say the standard wood one, then we the next one we're going to look at is our snare drum. And we'll just uh, cut on over to what those are set up as in a sec. Okay, so here we have our snare drum set up. And to use a, or basically to create a snare dr drum, a snare drum uh, sound, we, use, we can use sand, red sand, gravel, and any kind of concrete. For all the like concrete or just colored blocks that I'm using, I'm just using white and black. It makes it a little bit easier and also kind of just matches my uh, skin. So it's all good. My Minecraft skin, so it's like, OK, that works. Um, and then obviously, so we have all our wood. And I guess I probably should have said it earlier for the base or string base for the woods. We have oak, this is spruce. Wait, is that spruce or dark oak? I don't know, I think it's spruce. Birch, jungle, uh, acacia. I think that's dark oak. Wait, if that's jungle, where are you? Oh, mangrove. Uh, then we have Crimson Stab, Warp Stab, and so yeah. But yeah, since this is for our snare drum, this is what it sounds like. Oops. <laughs> I forgot to set this up. So, obviously, you have quite a bit of variety. I actually, let's stop it. Okay, so we have our string bass or bass just in general. We have our snare drum. Next, we're going to go on to the clicks and sticks, also known as a he hat. I think that's how you say it. I hope, I really hope it's how you say it, though. Also, you might be wondering why are there no slimes in the super flat world? Well, the reason is because 
if you can see a little bit behind me. How far in the distance? Way far in the distance. There are a bunch of wardens I set up over there. And because basically the wardens are within render distance, but we're too far away to hear them, they I put enough wardens over there to basically create a mob cap of sorts. So that's why we don't have to worry about slimes just invading all over here, and we can just kind of work in peace. So hey, funny little thing for anyone who is in a survival world to know is like, hey, if you get enough wardens in a single small space, uh, basically, I think it's like a seven by three area, you can have like no mobs spawn pretty much in the vicinity. It's very nice, especially when you're trying to work. Uh, but yeah, other than that, let's go on to the next material for the notebooks. Okay, so now we have our clicks and sticks, and the three materials we have are glass, basically any kind of glass you can use, a sea lantern, and a beacon. So if we do this, hmm, uh, because that's so let's just switch these guys up. Why is that not working? Okay, I'll just... So, that's essentially all the sounds you can make with the clicks and sticks. I think it's because... Hmm, maybe because I have to go up. So let's do something like this. Oops. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Okay, so then it would be... There we go. There we go. So obviously because... So good to know for you guys is if you're going to use basically these this uh, variety for the glass, beacon, or sea lantern, you need to raise your redstone up by one, so it's at the note block level, because redstone doesn't really go through, or doesn't interact with glass objects, so I guess sea lantern is considered part of the glass object. So, good for you guys to know, <laughs> good for both you guys to know and me to know for the future. Especially when I, I might actually try to create like a, maybe a melody block or something, something basically in Nomad Craft to that's like a tune whenever someone goes kind of like near my base. But anyways, enough about that. We can turn that off. And the next one we're gonna do is a bass drum slash kick. I will be honest though, this one's going to take a little bit to set up as there are a lot of different things you can do to create this sound. So just give me a few minutes and I will get this all set up. Okay, finally got all this set up. This one definitely took a while. Uh, basically we have three entire rows of material. Uh, this one I had to... So if you look at... Nope. Here. So I put two of the same ones here, because technically you were able to, it says on the wiki that you can use observers. I tried that, it wasn't working for me, so I had to just double it up. Um, that being said, we can go through all of them. Basically you can use any type of ore, deep slate, uh, non-deep slate, the ones in the nether, so quartz and gold. You can use a respawn anchor, bedrock, concrete, not concrete powder but concrete you can use. Uh, and then I think there's some other stuff. Let's see, these are all just ores. You can use stone. Uh, this one is black stone you can use. You can use netherrack. I don't know why I have netherrack three times, but I do for some reason. 
Oh, that's because they turned into yeah. So you can use crimson nylium and warped nylium, but obviously eventually it'll just probably turn into netherrack. So that's unfortunate. Uh, you can use obsidian, quartz blocks, sandstone, and red sandstone along with some other ores. Def Definitely a lot of stuff, and this will probably get hectic, but... Yeah, it, I mean, it's a kick drop. It's... And then obviously... <laughs> There we go. Okay. So, yeah, that's definitely the kick drum. Lots of materials, lots of stuff to use for. So, obviously, you have a variety of stuff. Stone being probably the easiest option. Because, I mean, let's face it, in Minecraft, you'll probably have plenty of stone. You'll have, well, you'll probably have plenty of cobblestone that you can turn into stone. Um, if you don't want to use stone, then I'd probably suggest netherrack, because that is a very easy block to have. Um, plus, it's easy to mine as well. It's a lot easier to mine than the uh, stone. And then, obviously, for the clicks and sticks, um, I'd probably say glass would probably be the next easiest. And then, honestly, for these next... This next, this one at least, um, it'd probably be between the first three. So it really depends on where your base is or where you actually spawn in the world. So if you spawn in like a desert, I'd say a desert's probably the best place. Uh, if you spawn somewhere in like a plain or a mountain, probably gravel. And if you spawn in the, where does red sand spawn again? <laughs> uh, what's that bio? I don't know. I forget. It's all right. Uh, so yeah, but basically if you spawn in that, it's like Badlands or something. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, but yeah, if you spawn in that biome, then that's probably your best thing to get. And then honestly for this one, it's any type of wood. So whatever biome you, you uh, start in, you're going to be fine with getting any of these. Uh, but yeah, let's just uh, start working on the next one, which is our bells. Which, uh, luckily, this is a very easy setup. So, let's uh, get that done real quick. Okay, now we got that set up. Our next one we have is bells, and that is by using a gold block. Very simple, very easy. Um, especially if you have a gold farm, which I know I have in Nomad Craft. If you've been watching the series, I know I've been trying to get that build done. Uh, it's kind of something I've just been putting off a little bit, but... Hopefully I can get that done sooner or later there, so you guys can see how I build it and that stuff. But yeah, let's just, uh, obviously it's just bells, so, and I'm like, okay, it's one block, so let's just try to get the whole variety so you guys can hear the, the, not every sound it makes, but good variety of it, so. Pretty simple. Obviously... Yeah, so obviously, once you start creating this with, with a bunch of other stuff, it will sound, it'll definitely sound a lot better. <laughs> but right now we're just creating tunes, or I guess creating notes. Maybe that's a that's the title. Creating notes in Minecraft. Well, that doesn't really make sense. Creating music notes in Minecraft. Now, that sounds better. I, I don't know. But anyways, let's get on to the next thing, which is the flute. And so technically with the flute, there are... So it depends on if you're playing Bedrock or Java. See, for me, I'm playing Java. But if you're playing Bedrock Edition, you have two extra blocks you can work with. Um, but let's get that set up, and then I will explain what the other two blocks are for you. So the next block that we have going on is for the flute is clay. So a clay block will create a flute sound, and let's just get that set up so you can hear what that sounds like. So, honestly, flute sounds very nice. Um, honestly, so far it's probably my favorite sound that we have. Uh, 
but who knows? We can always we might find something else that creates maybe a little bit of a better sound, more clearer sound. But for now, the flute so far is the best sound we have. Obviously, once we create all the stuff together, it will sound a little bit different. But we'll see if we well, maybe not this video. So I'm like, maybe I'll do that in a different video for you guys, so then that makes it so you can see, okay, here's all the different sounds, what they make, or every different material, because at that point, this is kind of like a tutorial. That way you guys can get a little bit of an understanding of, hey, this is how the blocks work, and all that stuff. But at the same time, uh, then you can also do, well, then we can start making some music on our own. Uh, as in just a different video. But anyways, let's go on to the next material, which will be for chimes. All right, so we got the next one, which is packed ice. Packed ice will give us the chimes sound, chimes effect, whatever you want to say it. So now we can just uh, get that started. And so yeah, clay and packed ice sound very nice together. So if I were to do, uh, yeah, let's do that. Sounds pretty nice, actually. Slight delay, but it's all good. Anyways, so yeah, that's chimes. Very nice, very simple. Um, obviously, I'm sure if you increase a lot of stuff together, you can make some very, I'm sure you can make very complex things, especially some very complex songs, which I may try to tag. We'll see. We'll find, first I might try to do the simple songs, and then we can always work our way up. But with that being said, let's move on to our next one, which is surprisingly a guitar. Not sure how that's going to work, but we'll see. Okay, so we have our next one. And the next one for the guitar is actually wool. So any kind of wool you can use to make this effect. So if we go, oops, <laughs> I forgot to calibrate them. So let's just do that. Okay, take two. So, pretty nice, uh, pretty simple, pretty simple strings that you got. Obviously it's a, uh, I'm sure if you this is where you, I would, I kind of wish I was, I knew more about music, like, um, or I played an instrument, just because I feel like if I played, like, piano, guitar, or just something, I'd probably be a little bit better at creating an actual music piece versus just kind of like, oh, hey, this kind of sounds good, and I do this and that, or just struggle for hours and hours on it, but hey, it's Minecraft. But anyways, let's go on to our next block, which is the xylophone. Uh, all right, so for the xylophone, ugh, xylophone, <laughs> we have a bone block. So bone blocks create a xylophone effect, and I don't know. I mean, it's nice. I think it's not as nice as like the packed ice or clay. Uh, even the guitar with the wolf sounds. I think better than that, but there is a second type of xylophone in the game that is actually an iron xylophone. I'm sure by the name you can kind of guess what kind of block we're going to use, but, but yeah. But yeah, let's get that set up for you guys and then you can kind of hear what that sounds like. Alright, so as you probably guessed, we use iron blocks for the iron xylophone and this is what it sounds like. So, yep, so this one has a little bit, sounds like a little bit more reverb, essentially, um, compared to, but yeah, a little more reverb or just a little bit more crisp sound than the regular xylophones. So obviously that is, I think this is probably a more, one I prefer to use, I would use, but obviously depending on the song, 
you might actually need the regular xylophone. Who knows? But next is, I think, I would say a personal favorite, just based on a skit that was once done. Was, oof, this skit, I don't, I, even, I don't even know how old this skit is. It is a very old skit. It was on, if you know Saturday, Saturday Night Live, I'm sure you can even look it up. But this was a skit on Saturday Night Live, and it was about cowbell. So let's uh, let's get that up and running for you guys. All right, and let's uh, start this cowbell. I mean, if you actually know the cowbell instrument, I think cowbell sounds a little bit different because, like, compared to this. Or even that. Oh, okay. Even that kind of sounds like what a possible guitar sounds like. Even that. It's like, yes. Did you want to listen to the music? I can't think about it. Hey, there you are. You enjoy music as well. But yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I think cowbell, like the actual instrument, sounds a little bit different. But... I think for Minecraft, I think they tried to do the best they could with it, so... I'm sure it could be used in places. And now that I, I'm talking about that one skit, I kind of want to recreate that skit uh, in Minecraft. I wonder if I could do it. It will be a little bit difficult, I will say that, but maybe I can do that for the next, uh, like, just kind of this creative, creating music video. If you know the skit, hey, drop a comment, I guess, about it, because... It, it's a very funny skit. Um, I'll just leave it at that. And other than that, I guess the next one that we have to go on is actually the didgeridoo. So the didgeridoo is a very big instrument. If you don't know what it is, I'd say look it up, honestly. Uh, it's hard to really explain. It's like a big flute. Yeah, I guess that's a way to put it. Maybe. I don't know. But it's a very large instrument and I actually knew someone one of my old teachers in college actually uh, played the didgeridoo which I was kind of shocked with but it was also fun every uh, every year to see him do it so hey if you're watching hello but until then uh, let's uh, but yeah let's just get this all set up for you guys. It is turning nighttime, so we'll just set it to daytime. And look how much we have done. I have actually just realized that. That is a lot of note blocks. <laughs> okay. That being said, let's. No. Come on. There we go. I think this is the height I was at before, but I. Who cares? The wardens are still doing pretty good with actually creating no mobs. Oh, another cat. Okay, we're getting sidetracked. Let's uh, set this one up because we still have... I think we have like four more blocks to go through. So, we're almost there. You create... Oh, hey, a cat. Okay, so the next block we have is pumpkins. Pumpkins give us the didgeridoo note. And set day. There we go. So, if we do that, then... So basically the sound I'm more familiar with is actually like one of these two. So if we got a stone button. Yeah, it's like basically these two I'm more familiar with. Even that one, even this one a little bit, but anyways, so yeah. So that's uh, 
here, and then yeah, that's the pumpkin with the didgeridoo. And then next we have bit, which is like a square wave, it looks like. So that will be our next instrument sound. Um, if you don't know what bit is, it's I'm sure you've heard it before. You just didn't realize, oh, that's what that's actually what it's called or sounds. You'll you'll see. Don't worry. But yeah, let's get it set up just like the last ones and be back in just a sec. All right, so now we have bit, which is done through emerald blocks, and they sound like. Yep, pretty simple. Kind of like, a, I guess you could think like Mario, early Mario games, they kind of had that effect. Pretty much any early game kind of had this bit noise. The cat is interested. But yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that's what bit is. It's, uh, I think it's more if you're wanting to create like a more retro kind of old school game sound. I think that's probably where you, you'd want to get these note blocks for. Uh, honestly, to get a bunch of emeralds, you'll probably want to get either Vill a bunch of villager trading, or you'll want to create a raid farm. So one of those two, they'll probably give you the most uh, emeralds. Uh, then obviously if you want pumpkins, pumpkin watermelon farm. Soul sand, unfortunately that's just the nether. Iron, iron farm, bones, for or bone blocks, you'll probably want a mob farm. Wool will be sheep farm, ice will be ice farm. Clay will be uh, now with 1.19. That will be dirt with the water bottles and drying them out. Gold is gold farm. This will be basically stone or netherrack. This will be probably trading with villagers for glass. This depends on the biome, but sand or gravel. And log will be basically any biome. Except for desert. <laughs> um, but yeah. That being said, we have two left. The le second to last one is a banjo. So basically like the guitar. So that, honestly, a lot different. Um, it's a lot different block than what the guitar was, which was cool. But all right, so four banjos. We have our hay blocks. Hay blocks are very simple. You just need a wheat farm. So, also another easy block to get. And banjo sound like. So, honestly, not nice sound. I think banjo actually sounds a little bit better than the guitar. Probably a little bit biased, but it's all right. So that is the second to last block that we have. This has been definitely a, I'm sure for you guys it might be a little bit more cut down, but obviously it is a lot of information to take in. So obviously do with it what you want to do, I guess. Um, obviously there are quite, it's quite a lot of stuff. So if any of you guys are like, oh man, this is a lot more information than I thought, don't worry, I understand. But I'm just basically, hopefully those that are interested in this, find it find it like appreciative or for those that are just kind of wanting to learn a little bit more about minecraft um i do have another video that i probably will be coming out with it's kind of like this just some maybe unknown facts on minecraft um because there is actually a lot of stuff that is kind of just unknown or it's just not widely popular knowledge compared to like oh hey you use bone meal to grow a crop very popular, pretty standard. But um, an example would be like if you uh, slay a fish, or so as in salmon or cod, you have a 5% chance of it dropping bone meal. It's a 
it's one of those like little things you don't really like a lot of people I think um, that play Minecraft I'd say vast majority just don't know that little tiny fact that little mechanic that has been implemented in Minecraft that hey if you knew it then hey you knew it but if you didn't then hey you get to learn something a little bit new about Minecraft and that's that's kind of like what I'm doing with these note blocks it's like hey you can actually do this in Minecraft it's not you can actually create actual songs I know people have done it in the past but at the same time it's like Maybe people have just created the song, but didn't go into detail about, hey, this note block does this, this does this. And that's why I'm giving you guys a little bit more information on before I finish this last block for you guys. I just wanted to give a reason why I'm doing these kind of videos. Um, obviously, it might not be out for everyone, so I do understand that. But at the same time, if you at least enjoy the video, feel free to give a like, subscribe if you are, if you are new, all that stuff. Um, I do always appreciate it. But anyways, let's get on to this last block, and, uh, and then we will finally be all done. And then maybe I'll just turn all of them on at once and create a chaotic sound. Also, if we want the chaotic sound, we can just go over to the wardens. Also, funny thing about the wardens, if you actually kind of get Especially with like, I think there's nearly 80 or so over there. If you get a bunch of them together and they start making sound, it sounds a lot like a plane starting up. Don't worry, we'll, we'll, we'll go over there once it's once we're all done here. It's about to be night time, but yeah, we'll you'll you'll see you in a sec. But let's get this last one done, which will be a what is it? It's a plane. Also which, parentheses, when you look at the wiki, is electric piano. So let's get that set up for you guys and get this one done. Okay, so for the playing or electric piano, we use glowstone. And for that, this is what it sounds like. Oh, is it like, uh, hmm. See, so it must be like the glass where it will not. Oh, dang it. So it looks like glowstone is kind of like glass where it will not activate if it's uh, at ground level. So you'll need. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, I actually like that sound a lot. So yeah, that is the electric plane, electric piano, aka the plane, which is used by uh, glowstone. Also, so if you're doing any kind of music instruments, you'll want to raise glowstone and glass by one block for the redstone stuff, so it actually activates. While everything else, you can just do it on the base stuff, and it will. So there you go, and then. Let's see if we can hear all this, but let's activate everything. Big chaotic. I'll say that. But at the same time, it could be marvelous. It's actually not, it's not too bad. I think the kick drum actually makes it just like the worst part of it. Because if I get rid of the kick drum, or the I guess the snare drum. Let's see. Um. Maybe it's this one. No. Oh, maybe 
Interesting nonetheless. Uh, obviously, that gives us a wide variety to work with in the future. Definitely happy about that nonetheless. And then there we go. Yeah. So, inventory wise, I was just kind of separating everything just to make myself a little bit easier on uh, organization. And then let's go over to the wardens. So obviously, yep, if, uh, if you guys didn't hear that, it kind of sounds like an airplane as it's just starting up or or something like that. So yeah, if you ever, uh, if you ever been in an airplane that's, or like, right as it's like starting its engine or about to take off. Doesn't that kind of sound like it? Uh, when I had it set up, I was like, huh. That sounds so familiar. Um, but yeah, very interesting thing, nonetheless. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for this video, guys. Uh, obviously, if you, like I said, if you like the video, feel free to give it a like. If you are new to the channel and you at least enjoy the content that's on the channel, Feel free to subscribe. You can always change your mind later, and I always do appreciate it nonetheless uh, if you do subscribe. Um, and I think that will do it for this video. Uh, yeah. Also, if you have any questions and stuff, feel free to drop it in the comments. I try to answer as much as possible. Um, that being said, I do have I do have a lot going on, so sometimes I kind of just miss some comments at times. Why is the why is it raining? Let's clear that right now. A thunderstorm, but yeah, I do try to answer stuff or at least look at the comments at the very least. Um, sometimes I just can't answer as I got, like I said, I have a lot going on. Um, so there are times where I just am unable to answer stuff. Uh, but yeah, hopefully, uh, you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next video. All right, see everyone.